I'm working on a CNC machine. I want to use this device for cutting foam and ultimately sand casting. Um, and during that build, one of the things that I wanted to add here was a Wi-Fi module for this Big Tree Tech SKR Pro V 1.2. And the Wi-Fi module I purchased on AliExpress, there was a note in there saying that it would come pre-flashed and didn't have to worry about it. Well, when I got it, there was no flash. Um, so went online trying to figure out if I can flash it. And most guys are saying you need another writer for it off Amazon. And finally, I contacted tech support from Big Tree Tech. And turns out you can actually flash it with this board. So since nothing exists out there that tells you that, I'm going to show you how easy it is. It takes a minute or two um, once you know what's going on. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. It should work with any of the SKR Pro boards. Um, this is the 1.2. I use the 1.1 and the 1.2 firmware packs that they have on GitHub. And I'll show you links to those. So make a quick video here and hopefully it helps you out. The ESP01S Wi-Fi module. And on this particular board, there is a port for it. And you can plug it in right, right there. It does... The, the Wi-Fi antenna over here, you can see, kind of protrudes. And on the case that I printed here, it, it comes out the side a little bit. But that's just how it is. There is also a location up on the screen um, if you want to put this. This is a TFT35 version. You can also plug this module in there. Um, I prefer just to have it on my board, so this is where I used it. But I think this application will work if you put it in either location. Big Tree Tech Support sent me this ESP01S basic guide um, for the touchscreen 35. And in that guide, it says the connection between the SKR Pro V1.1 and the V1.4 and anything in between, I'm assuming, can be used with this guide. I have the 1.2 and it seems to work. Um, so what I did is you skip all of this because this is using the Wi-Fi module flash writer. Um, we don't need to use that. But the Pro boards can flash directly from the board itself. So I showed you where the flash module is um, and where the, the Wi-Fi board plugs in. Um, so have all that done and then go grab your files. And what you actually want to do is this 3SP3D bin file for your board um, out on the GitHub is the one you want to download to your micro SD card, okay? Just this file, okay? So you want to put that file right there on and we can go there, I guess, and I can show you that. So if we go to this file here, it's showing for the 1.1 board. I went up to 1.2 and I grabbed the ESP3D bin file here and I downloaded the raw file. Okay, put that on my SD card. Then you flash that to your board. Okay, there's no other firmware for this board in here. So then I went into the firmware for the version 1.1. And if we go there, then we have the 404, the favicon, and the index files. And that's where we want to uh, grab and save those now to a, a file location on your computer. So I showed you the ESP3D.bin file. Um, and this, the GitHub had that file on it so what you want to do then is get that file onto your sd card so my computer has a standard large format sd card so i have this adapter right um and then the board has the micro sd so all you got to do is get that file on your sd card take out the micro put it in the board now when you flash the board you want to unplug your screen and i don't know really why that is must be something to do with how it flashes, but you want to flash the board without the screen plugged in um, and make sure your Wi-Fi module obviously is plugged in right here. 
here's your micro SD card slot. Everything's powered off. Put your micro SD in here. Power it on. Um, I have mine set up to be powered with USB currently. If you have your power source set up, you'd have to uh, change this jumper over to the, the main power source. Um, but for just USB, you're, you're fine here. So once you have that on there, you're going to see this blue light flash a couple times. That's on the Wi-Fi module. Um, and then once that's all set up, it probably takes 10 seconds at the most. Um, then, you, then you power everything off and you go ahead and you plug your screen back in if you have one. So then we're going to go back to the description of this document that they sent to me. And you're going to, when you power on your board, ESP3D is going to show up as a Wi-Fi option. And you need to connect to that using the password 12345678. Now you see on my board here, um, I have this set up in Marlin mode instead of the touchscreen mode just for this demonstration because I think it's a little easier to see. But once I plug this in, you'll see that the IP address is right there on the bottom of my screen. And then we're going to take that IP address and we're going to drop it into your favored web browser. At that point, you're going to get the ESP3D web page or web interface and you'll have to use the instructions here to go in and set up your flash system with these three downloaded files. So you're going to go and click on, let me actually expand this a little bit. You're going to go click on this upper button here. Um, and then you're going to upload your files that you want. Okay. Which is right here, wherever you saved them. And then you're going to hit refresh. And then you get into your setup wizard. And from there, you can take it on your own to set it up for your own printer. But you're ready to go. You now have a Wi-Fi hotspot. And you didn't have to use any writer or anything like that. It goes right through your board. So hopefully this helps. If you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.